Yo, what's good? It's your boy, Seven Deadly Sins, aka many names, many names. And the name doesn't really matter because I no longer do YouTube like that no more. You understand? But I'm here on a special occasion. I'm just checking in on a, an old compadre. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm just checking in. Like, I see the video that come up on my radar. I started to watch it. Tommy Sotomayor versus uh, Debate Showdown. Leslie Jones speaks out. I, I'm guessing speaks out about Tommy Sotomayor. I heard like a little five minutes and I wanted to give a little bit of input because I noticed some things and some things and some things. Now, let me say this. I'm not here to try and expose nobody. I'm just really just commenting on this video. I'm not here to try and, you know, ruffle people's feathers or anything like that. Been there and done it. I'm just honestly having a look at things, you know what I'm saying? And giving some commentary. So let's begin. Welcome to the Simply Talking Podcast YouTube channel. In this YouTube video, Leslie Jones is heard making controversial statements on The Breakfast Club. She criticizes men for not doing enough work and claims that black women are the most educated group in the United States, but fail to explain their beliefs or raise their children to be intelligent. She also mentions black women relying on Goldman Sachs and begging for attractiveness and dates as well as being placed in middle management positions to undermine black men. The discussion then turns to sexual matters, with Jones questioning men's sexual performance and their need for therapy. Tommy Sotomayor challenges Jones by highlighting her unattractive appearance and suggests that she should focus on her own self-improvement. The conversation further delves into stereotypes, interracial relationships, and the portrayal of black women in media. Sotomayor discusses his experience on YouTube, where he gained fame and income by sharing his contrarian and logical views on various topics. He mentions how his content resonated with many black men who had never heard someone speak openly and honestly like him. The views expressed in this video is not my opinion. Fair use like share and subscribe, and Leslie Jones speaks, and Tommy Sotomayor reacts and kill all her talking points. Enjoy this the show. This is what Leslie Jones said on The Breakfast Club last week, earlier this week. Let's listen. Men, too, and, like, I, I'm going to give y'all so much permission to fucking learn and, and advance to where mm -hmm. we are as women. Like, we doing the work. Men are not doing the work. And I'm going to say it, y'all not doing the work. And let me just say this, too. <sighs> y'all don't know pause, shit about pause. pussy. Look, it's one of your favorite right things. Yeah. Right here, go ahead. What work is she talking about? The work, the work, the work. I'm sick and tired of black folks talking about doing the work, and they never have to say anything. For black women supposedly to be the most educated women or the most educated group in the United States, which I proved it was untrue, and they had stopped saying that you can get no program to say it anymore. It's untrue. But they say they're the most educated. If they're the most educated, why can't they ever explain any stupid shit they say? Why do they speak in these affirmation terms but never in realization? Why is it that if they are so educated, why are black children the dumbest in the United States when black women are raising them single-handedly 76% of the time? So if black women are so smart, their children should be that much smarter. Well, that's the work she's talking about, Tommy. Why is she doing you know, all the education? Where's the man at? Where's the father? Why ain't the man putting in the work? Why ain't the man going out there getting a job and sticking to the job and stuff like that instead of out here cheating? You understand? Get me? She's done about that kind of work. You know, the work that you see every day. The same complaints, the same problems black people have. Do you know black males have with black women over there? You know, on her side of things, she's talking about putting in more work to making things work. You know what I'm trying to say? Get me? Because, like, I don't know, has a black woman got a, ha a job in that household? Is he the number one not putting in no work? 
or it depends on the scenario, but there is a problem. But you know this, you've been doing it for so many years, Tommy Sotomayor. You've been doing this for so many years. How, how many years? Over 10? You understand? It's been the same questions, hasn't it, Tommy? So I'm just saying, like, how can you sit there as a professional and say, what work? What work she talking about? When, um, yeah, crazy. Crazy. Let's go. So that tells you something's wrong with them. They some selfish idiots. So when you say black women are doing the work, what work? You mean taking ten billion dollars from us, uh, uh, Goldman Sachs, in order to get y'all asses jobs? You mean going around begging everybody to find you attractive, begging for uh, Travis Kelsey to date y'all? What work are y'all doing when all y'all do is run middle management and the white man gives you the job in middle management because he knows that nobody hates black men more than him than you? You hate black men more than white men. That's why they put black women in middle management. Don't believe me? The majority of black men know if they go to a job interview today and it's a black woman behind the desk, they have a worse chance of getting a job than if it was a white man behind the desk. Tell me I lied. So when she said doing the work, what have black women done but beg? What's the last damn thing black women actually did but beg? Somebody got to give them something. If you were doing the work, you wouldn't say black women the most disrespected. If you were doing the work, you would turn people on to what your natural hair looked like instead of got to spend billions on weed every damn year and getting and sending Asian kids to school. Okay, you know something, Tommy, right? All that was feelings because you never actually denied her statement, like, you know, you're basically saying, yeah, maybe like black people have to put in the work, but what about the woman? What about black woman? What about this? What about that? You're not really defending the black man right now. You're kind of just throwing shots back, you know, like a narcissist do. And say, oh, I just want to switch it up. The white woman do it too. The only time you claim what the white woman does is when it's something you want to repeat that she does. But then you want to say that she is cultural appropriating you. So why would you tell me the white woman wear weave as if that's supposed to justify you wearing weave? <laughs> now you wanna, how, you, how are you going to be a queen and now you want to act like the peasant? Hey, well, he just dropped a bar there. He dropped a bar there. You got to agree. He just dropped a bar there. Wow. Okay, let, let, let's let's listen to some more. Uh, do you know it's what one the of your favorite is? things? Hey, hang on, what, what was that? Do you know what this work is that she's talking about? Because she said that doing the work. What work? She's referring to black men going and getting mental therapy help. That's what she's referring to. Uh, let, let's listen to some more. You don't know shit. I don't understand how you don't know shit about pussy. Or if your dick is working properly. What should we know, though? <laughs> See? Even the guy don't even know what he's talking about. She's just talking about normal, common practice, the complaints about black people, putting in work. How can you not even know, as a black man, what she means by that? And your guy in the background talking. How can you not know? She's talking about all in all. You know what I'm saying? If you used to look in, like, Caucasian backgrounds, there's, if there's complaints about the men or whatever, I can guarantee it's the same kind of complaint. Whether it's the same with the black black ground, if there's certain blah blah blahs going on with the black community, I can guarantee it's the same, same things, talking points come up. But I mean, come on, man. You're supposed to be a professional, Tommy. You're, supposed, you're looking stupid out here. You can't be coming up here and talking about you're the big Tommy Sotomayor, but then you don't know what someone's talking about. You know, it's cheesing the, uh, uh, um, uh, the conversation. You're just cheesing your way around it. Trying to make them look stupid and giggle back, childish like. Remember, you're supposed to be grown. I hope you do better. Let's carry on. So first of all, go <laughs> we see the exasperated expression of Tommy Sotomayor. I know you want to say I something. Tell to you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Because. Black women are the most uncouth, manly ass women on earth. You would never hear another race of women get on a live show and say, don't know shit about pussy or they dick. They talk like men. She sounds like Tracy. Uh, what's his name? The, the comedian Tracy Murray or uh, something. Tracy. What's yeah. his name? Uh, I Black women are the strongest women on this planet. And I don't mean by strength like that, you know, like bodybuilding, nothing. No, I want about mind and all that. Because you got to remember how things work, everybody. 
You understand and what people go through. And so certain people say today that certain black people have still got that slave trauma thing, you know, walking with their black jeans baggy or whatever, right? They say that there's a, I can't, it's not the same word trauma, it's a different word. Um, I can't think of the word, but that's carried on through generations, right? Exactly. If they say that about the men, then what the women had to go through, that would have carried on through generations too. Think about it. You see, Tommy Sotomayor is doing a bad job right now. He, he's doing a bad job right now because he's showing nothing but feelings. He's attacking. He's not really backing up the back up. You know what I'm saying? He's not really backing up the, the, the occasion, the conversation, the, the situation. You understand? He's not even dropping facts to say how she's wrong. She, he's just kicking straight back like he's hurt. Yeah, I can't remember you talking. I know you. Uh, the boy, yeah, Tracy Morgan. Tracy Morgan. She sounds like hell. She look like him. How's she gonna talk about some? We don't know if our dick work. Man, we know our dick to work. As soon as you come around, it go down. It stops <laughs> when we see somebody look like you, motherfucker. You look like a nigga I used to boost hubcaps with. <laughs> see what I'm talking about? You see? Now I know she threw a diss at him. Uh, obviously, he can diss her back. But do you see what I'm talking about, though? All you've heard is this has come from him, you know. So look at the example he is setting for me. Like he's saying, look, this is what I hate about black women. This is what they like. They like this. Da, 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 da. But he's supposed to be representing black men. And all he's done is disrespect. Right? Are you understanding the ocean, the potion, the motion? Mm -hmm. You getting it? Is your, the third eye open right now? So he's showing the world what black men are like disrespectful as fuck basically right if he's if he's labeling all black women from this black woman here then right he must be the goal the go-to for all black men i don't know if it did work look at you <laughs> We got the worst representation of women on earth. Go to the doctor, put your nuts in a doctor's hand and cough to the fucking left. Find out what's wrong with your dick first. There's a lot of, no, I'm being very right, honest. Right. I've been hooking up and dudes' dicks are not working properly. Y'all ate all that fucking McDonald's. <laughs> Go ahead, Tommy. She said, yeah, I, I've been hooking up with dudes and dicks, dicks ain't working properly. Don't you look like a man, you ugly as <laughs> shit. The only person that would find you attractive is Dwight Howard. <laughs> see, you see, you see, Tommy, right? She was, she went on to talking about a personal thing. Like, I've been out there. Dude's dicks ain't working properly. And then you turn around and say, because it's you. Every time you disrespect back like that, you're showing that you probably got that problem too. You, you don't see that though, Tom. I, I, I get what you're doing. It's like this and back, this and back. But at the same time, you're supposed to be repping and making it like, you know, that's wrong because boom, 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 bang, 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 ding, ding, ding. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, though? You, you're not doing nothing. It's like a dissing contest, really. And all that shit, you ain't drinking water. You're not fucking taking care of yourself. And that's your dick. That's like one of your prized possessions. Mm -hmm. You go get your car checked. You won't get your dick checked. Damn. And then get mad at us when your dick don't work. Don't get mad at me. That's your department. Damn. That's your department. That's real. <laughs> and it's... <laughs> Hey, it sounded like she hit some home truths right there, yo. My man was silent. The smile went off his face. You know what I'm saying? Went quiet. Then he, and then the smile went off his face. And then his hands went up in the air like, I don't know what to say to that, man. Like, she's right, but fuck you, bitch. How about you suck my toe? Let's, let's, hear, let's, let's hear that again. And all that shit, you yeah. ain't drinking water. You're not fucking taking care of yourself. And that's your dick. That's like one of your prized possessions. Mm -hmm. You go get your car checked. You won't get your dick checked. Damn. And then get mad at us when your dick don't work. Don't get mad at me. That's your department. Damn. That's your department. That's real. That... <laughs> and... Is she not wrong, though? Is she not wrong? Is she not wrong, though? Get me? You can't blame the woman. Like, all right. Hear about... How about this? If your dick's not working with the woman... 
Why are you even around her? Did it work at one time and then it stopped working? Or was that a first date, Tommy? Like, you have to be careful of the words that you say. It's because of you. Because of you. So what, did you meet her in a club, go back somewhere, and then you was about to get it on, it didn't work? Or did you fuck her before, previously? Huh? No? Huh? Like, really? He said that's real. He did not say, you ever thought you about the fact that you ugly as shit? You ever thought about that? You ever, that's been the first thing I'd have thought when a motherfucking mule done walked up talking about something. He can't get his dick hard. Well, probably because you're a mule. <laughs> you feel, let's just, like women said, get your dick checked. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then go get your mind checked. Mm -hmm. Stop showing up to Tinder dates expecting me to solve your fucking dilemma. I show up for dick and you throw me a Rubik's Cube of your fucked up ass shit. Like, I don't know why your daddy don't love you. <laughs> I don't, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yo. <laughs> Rubik's Cube, that's some crazy shit. Rubik's Cube, hey, look, yo. Thing I thought when a motherfucking mule done walked up talking about something, he can't get his dick hard. Well, probably because you're a mule. <laughs> Stupid, no. Like women said, get your dick checked. Mm -hmm. And then, and then, go get. Listen. Uh, that. I'm sorry, but that's kind of... Listen. Yeah, I, I want to know the scenario. I really do. You get me? Was that first night link up? Or was, are you talking relationship status? So at the same time, if, he was, if it was working before, then it stopped working with that person. Then she wasn't a mule, was she? You understand there's so many different ways what you know what I'm, I'm doing too much i'm sorry i'm doing too much my my my, my brain my game plan my i don't even know what to call it how I was back then starting to kick in or some shit you know what i'm saying so i'm sorry about that it's just that i when people trip up i'm either gonna catch them or watch them drop and uh certain things that tommy's dropping right now making me want to catch them bars and you know what i'm saying it's your mind check stop showing up to tinder dates expecting me to solve your fucking dilemma i show up for dick and you throw me a rubik's cube of your fucked up ass shit like i don't know why your daddy don't love you i don't you know what i'm saying your mind affects your dick. It affects your dick. It affects your dick. Do you think you're gonna be walking around sad and depressed, and your dick is just gonna be out, out here wilding? No, <laughs> it's not. It's sad like you. So Damn, take Tracy care of your Tracy Morgan. <laughs> Tracy Morgan. Uh, hey, 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 Tommy. She she got you with that one, yo. You know what I'm saying? She even made you silent. She got you with that one, though. You get me? Damn. Trans Tracy Morgan, that's all it is. How many times did this grown woman say dick? Yeah. We have the most disgusting women on earth. Most black men that you hear rapping that cuss and stuff, and I said this when I started, and nobody believed me. When people talk about I, when I said I cuss, I said, guess who I learned how to cuss from? My mom and my grandmom. It was a bunch of hoes in the house cussing. There was no man around, and the women talk disgustingly about women and sex all the time dick pussy nigga ho was what i would hear every day damn and that was just what i was i was told before i went to school in the morning now as you just heard he blames all these disrespect on the woman and stuff all these upbringing from his parents you just heard it family members he blames women for everything you know if you haven't caught on to that you understand Black women, that is. This is how bad it is in a black house raised by a black woman. They are uncouth. When you look at her commercials with Leslie uh, Jones, all her commercials, she was lusting after white men and they didn't want her. <laughs> Every one of them. She was lusting after them and they were like, ugh. And she signed up to that. <laughs> Let's get some more. Dick, I really believe that's a lot of problems with these, with these, um, podcast dudes and these passport bros y'all don't know how to fuck a woman correctly and then when she tell you that now she ain't shit <laughs> there it is there it is 
There it is, Tommy. Thank you. And I've never heard this, but you know what's coming when you see that hard ass face. <laughs> you know what's coming. It's hard to get something soft out of a hard face bitch like that. That bitch face so hard it could cut a diamond. <laughs> get some more. <laughs> no, go learn how to fuck. I bet you to solve a lot of problems between us. Cause y'all don't know how to fuck. And you're mad cause we do. This is the best mental health promo I <laughs> Y'all don't know how to fuck, and you mad because we do. Hold on, bitch. <laughs> White bitches are flying. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just staying silent. Yeah, this is entertaining. Let's go. To countries where niggas is broke and destitute just to fuck men. Men. That's true. The number two chosen man on earth is black men, and we don't own shit. That's true. We don't own no country. We don't own nothing. So that's one thing we can do. And when you talk about y'all can fuck, y'all fuck y'all way right into what? Because ain't nobody trying to be with you like that. White men have had access to your ass since slavery, and you still throwing pussy at the white man. Black men should never listen to what white, but what black women say. They claim, oh, the white man used to rape us. Then you should have no interest in trying to marry him. Yet you throw yourself at the white man. You were the first one to go to Supreme Court begging for the United States to make interracial marriage legal. It wasn't a black man trying to get with a white woman. And if your pussy was so good, why the fuck in back? Tommy Sotomayor, you need to stop that. You throw out at one point. You don't even let this person... Oh, oh, yeah, it's not even... Oh, I'm sorry, everybody. I thought it was a debate. I thought it was a debate. I thought these two was actually talking. I'm going to shut up right now and sit back down and press play. Page.com, you can get black pussy for $40. The cheapest pussy <laughs> you can buy. Somebody tell me I'm lying. Get online right now. Go to Instagram. Look how many black chicks got booking information on that. Thank you. And thank you for your commentary on this this woman king. <laughs> if I had to look at that, man, it's not enough for Agora, Seattle, or Blue Chew to get me to rise to occasion to bone that. I she could call me all kinds of names. I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't care. She could call me all kinds of So listen, let me ask you a question, Tommy. Was there any lies? Besides, I'm not talking about the dissing back and forth, that part. Like, you know, the sta like statements that made sense and shit. Was she lying? Was there any truth in it? Hmm? What did what was this whole stream about really? Was it just to just address that video and you sort of commenting back? If that's the case, okay, maybe I've just read into all this wrong, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, I mean, psh, if we're scoring points, right? If I was to show people, black people in the UK, this video, what do you think they would say? I don't give a fuck. This is what, I'm sorry, everybody. This is what Tommy would say. I don't give a fuck. That's the UK. What's the UK got to do with our business, nigga? The same UK people in your chats that's donating to you. Don't mind taking the money, do you? Uh, and just remember, America is our business. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm going a bit too deep. Anyway, yeah, let's just listen to some more. The name. She can talk about my dick. I ain't big enough. I can't get hard for her. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> Everybody would understand this shit. That's like that's like you that's like me putting a steak on a trash can lid and talking about some hey why you won't eat it? No, it's on a trash can lid. <laughs> it's a steak though. It's a steak. You just don't know. <laughs> that's exactly. Black women say I'm um, coon. Uh, what did they say? They said white. You cooning for white folks. Cooning for white folks. White people pay me. Cool. So right after you go after me, why don't you go after ghetto gaggers? Because they got a bunch of black women on that. That's cooning and destroying the image of black women. But yet they've tried to come. They've taken me down, but have never taken that down. Could you, could, you, could you describe for everybody listening? Just just I don't want to assume. Could you describe as best you can on the air what ghetto gaggers is, what, what you're talking about? Yes, the fact that they used ghetto, they were saying any black woman is ghetto. So she didn't have to do anything because ghetto was supposed to be an action and a place. But nope, they look at it as a color. So they would just bring black women on and make black women, it's a porn, and they would make black women eat dog food, eat throw up, drink pee, slap them, 
punched him, do all kinds of stuff during sex. And have sex with him. And have sex with him. Call them names, everything. This guy's an idiot, man. Look how he went through that whole list. The sex part should have come out first. Because that's what get old gaggers is, sucking dick and shit. You know, making them gag. That, that's the whole purpose of the whole damn thing. Firstly, this nigga made out like, you know, it's all about beating up a black woman and making them be, uh, eat shit. Like, come on, Tommy. Come on. Yeah, obviously, well, I guess I've never watched that shit. But um, I've been hearing rumors and mad shit goes on there. You know, they like making black women sick over there, right? You understand? But the way you even tell, wait, wait, where's the black man to save that, stopping that from happening? Who's controlling it? Are you saying to me, Tommy, that's white, a uh, white man's controlling that? Or is it black people? Because I'm sure black people's controlling that ghetto gaggers, right? Huh? Or are you going to say it's white? I don't know for a fact it's not white. That's going to be a black thing. Because that white person would have so much hit, like, 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 kickback at, at them. Once, you know what I'm trying to say? So that sounds like a black organization. So as a righteous black man or, uh, or your mind straight, trying to save the black woman or trying to fix shit, how come you were, you're not putting your work in to take down businesses like that? Huh? Why are you trying to say the woman needs to do it? What, let, let's go back to the point she was making. You're not putting in the work. Why aren't you doing that, Tommy? Why aren't you putting down these companies, Tommy? You're not putting in the work, are you? So now you understand what she means by that, right? Especially if she's referring to you. This is light work, yo. Hmm. This wow. is a thing. It is a fetish. And it has never, not any of them, not Cynthia G, none of them, have ever tried to flag it and get it down. It would be easy to do if they just labeled it as racist. But black women won't ra label anything racist when white men are willing to put... You see, right there, he's just, he's just proving to... Why ain't these women doing it? Why ain't these women? Why ain't these women? Why ain't these women? Why? And her first statement out of her mouth was black men and putting in the work. And then you got this man talking about why ain't the women doing it? You see? You see how crazy this shit is? They penis in them. That's how. That's why I had to stop dealing with this shit, man. Because y'all are twisted over there, yo. For real. <laughs> Mine's a fucked up. Low black women think of themselves that as long as white men pay them some attention, it's worthy. They don't care how it is. So let that sink in. Then they say white people pay me that I'm doing the white man's job. So if I'm doing the white man's job, how did you go report me to the white man and he took me down? Last I checked, if I was doing his job, you could complain all you want. He'd never take me down. Yeah. He want me to destroy you, remember? <laughs> but when you talk about black men, he allows you to do it all day. But I finally said, there's a lot of men who could be saved from bad decisions like I've made and other men that I've seen made if we could just talk about it honestly. And maybe these men will start being important to these women instead of being trash to these women. But if these men can't get these women to value them, they will go to women who actually value them. Because we seem like the only thing that we feel that we bring to the table as men is our wallet and our penis. And in order for our penis to, to even get attention, we have to bring our wallet first. So that was what I was doing. So I was paying, unlike everybody else, I was paying to get a message out. And then something happened. The girl who I was... Well, you just admitted the man should be doing his man role, you know, out there working. You understand? Bring you back bread. You understand? And then she's feeling good. Family feeling good. She'll open up her legs, you know. That's putting in the work, man, putting in the work. You are just... I don't understand, think you realise what you're saying, Tommy. I don't really think you get what you're saying right now. You're validating her shit, nigga. You, you're making her right. You understand? You just said it yourself. Oh, a black man has to come back and, and he's got his money and his penis and, and, and the money has to be first or some shit. Yeah, because you have to take care of the household. Make her happy. Make her wet. Dating. Started taking clips of my show and putting it on YouTube. Next thing I know, I was getting a bunch of emails and I didn't know where they were coming from. They kept telling me I was going viral. I didn't know what that meant. I didn't have a YouTube channel and I didn't even look at stuff on YouTube. So they were taking my stuff and putting it up there. I was doing what I was trained to do and what I was good at doing. 
giving my commentary, even the name of my show when I started, it was called Your World, My Views. Right. Mm -hmm. So I would just look at what was going on in your world and just give you my thoughts on them. And it would be contrarian. It would be considered contrarian. But logically to me, it was like it may was logic. It was logic based and fact based. And I said, if you can take the emotions out of something and just put the logic in it, maybe they won't argue with you as much. And that's when I was wrong. I didn't realize that it made people more upset that you would put things in front of them that they couldn't argue. So then what they did was stop arguing. You know, he's telling you history right now about his former self. His story, right? The problem with his story, history, you shouldn't always believe it until you do your own research. But, you know, I'm not one to say shit. You get me? Like, you know, that's his, that's his story. It just don't seem the same way as I record it. But, you know, some do. It depends on the timeline, though. You know, things come into place, that, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, some of them things is true, very true that he's saying. But some are twisted to a degree where it's backwards. Then when the money came, I was completely shocked. I didn't know you could get paid off of it. And then when the money came, it just kept really coming. When I first started, it was at one point, I think at the highest, YouTube was paying me $75,000 a month. Wow. I'd never just seen that. I would put a video up and it would have half a million views in a few hours. Wow. I've never seen anything like that. Hmm. Everybody, everywhere I went, people knew me. I couldn't get on a plane without somebody on the plane knowing who I was. I couldn't go anywhere. They, everybody at ESPN, I think all the, all the, all the ESPN personality. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, you, you funny, Tommy. Oh, you're funny, man. Well, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 I, I, yeah, 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 Tommy, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's carry on, man, I'm, I'm just out here laughing, man, I'm, I'm so, I'm just laughing, man, I don't know why I'm laughing, but that, that, I, you know, when you hear something, it makes you just want to laugh, you get me, but, uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, but it's been on my show, um, T.D. Jakes was a huge fan. Everybody knew me. But I didn't think it would be something like that because I was just trying to get a message out. But it resonated because a lot of black men had never heard a black man speak the way I spoke. They'd never heard one unless it was in barbershop. But we weren't supposed to walk out of the barbershop saying that shit. Yeah. We were just supposed yeah. to barbershop. Yeah. Right. Well, there you have it. Well, there you have it for real. Let me just say this because, you know, thinking about it now, you know how Sam Campbell kind of have the same kind of story, not the sex part. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, you know, you know, neglecting the woman. Just that part of the story, really. Nothing else. Okay. I'm just thinking about it. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have even said that. But what I'm trying to say is, Certain people get in their feelings growing up and then they come to YouTube and whine and complain about it. Like you, Tommy, you talk about your family structure and it was all females and the way they spoke and, you know, and they showed you hate towards your father or whatever, you know, so in turn you hated your father and stuff like that. And, you know, or, or whatever you said, maybe I was wrong about that father thing. I think I was about the father thing. I don't remember you actually saying that part. But um, it's just the same kind of aura in it. Certain people, they hold something from a young age and they come to many years later and they speak on it and boom, boom, boom. It's people like you that need to seek help, you know. And especially you, Tommy Sotomayor. A lot of people, a lot of men that have problems with women and shit like that, there's normally something in the background that happened. Maybe there was R-worded or some shit like that. But that never happened to you. You just always talk about your parents, swear, you know, your family swearing and shit like that. Do you know how many black people 
grew up in that same way, but uh, well, I, I do. I know I do a lot do move like you, but you know how many don't. So maybe this is just all a you problem. But at the same time, yes, it's a com. It's commonly known, so you know it is worth speaking on. It is worth speaking on. I just want to know where you're going with this because if you're not putting in the work and you're blaming the black women, women for not putting in the work, then who's actually doing the work? Huh? Never ending story, right? This will always be a topic that will last a lifetime and get paid from in that right time. Anyway, peace and blessed everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Now listen, I was just giving my 10 cents. Just a little 10 cents, that's all. I'm not trying to get involved or nothing. I'm not trying to get some back and forth with me and, and Tommy or anything. Nah, it's not that. I just, you know what I'm saying? wanted to watch that drop some bars. I mean, I could have went 10 toes deep in this shit and said a lot of shit, brought up some past shit and stuff. But no, not about that. I just wanted to have a little bit of entertainment, watch this, see how much she's changed or whatever, just to see what was going on. This is like four months old. So yeah, anyway, the story's being told. It's your boy Seven and I'm Audi. Peace and blessings to the real. Shout out to everyone involved with the video. And I'll do you. I'll do me. Blessings.